Hi, and welcome back. We are up to the fourth type of trick to make it stick. And this one I use all the time, and I think you're gonna find it helpful too. I call it situation solutions. So I find myself doing this all the time. For example, tonight is, today is my son's birthday, and we're going as a family to an Italian restaurant, and we've got kind of a late, uh, for me it's late, uh, reservation. So I don't like eating too late because then I get into bed feeling a little, you know, uncomfortable or full and I don't like that. But in this case we had no choice. We had to make the reservation for 7 o'clock. So I may not eat anything till 7.30 and, you know, dinner may not be over till 8.30, which again is later than I want, but it's out of my control. But what is in my control, which relates to these situation solutions, is that first, before deciding on the restaurant, I looked at the menu to see, well, what do they have that I could eat and be happy when it's over? So I have already made the decision. In my mind, I already know what I'm getting at the restaurant. And it's so much more empowering than showing up at a restaurant where you don't know, maybe all they have are chicken wings and fried calamari. And then you feel like you don't have any control over what you're doing and you just go from food to food and you're miserable. We've all done that and we don't wanna be like that anymore. So that's one example of situation solution. Another type is if you're going to a party and you have, you know, you don't think they're gonna have anything that's gonna make you happy or help you stay in your calories or your points. So maybe you wanna eat ahead of time. Maybe you wanna call that friend and say, do you mind if I bring a dish to help you out? Um, and that way you're looking out for yourself and you're bringing something you know you'll look forward to eating. Maybe you go to a restaurant and you've asked for, I don't know, an egg white omelet because it's gonna fit into your calories or points and you said you don't want any butter or you don't want toast or whatever you've said, then Let's say it comes, instead of an egg white omelet, it comes as a full egg omelet, or it comes with buttered toast, or whatever it is that you, you know, different than what you did ask for. So a situation solution would be just to say to the waiter, you know what, I, I asked for this differently, can you please send this back? Instead of, you know, the impulse would be like, oh cool, oh well, they gave me an omelet, I like the full egg, I'm just gonna eat it. Like, we've done all those things, enough. We're tired of that. Now what we're doing is the opposite of the impulse. So um, these kinds of things you could run into daily. You know, you could be knowing that you're gonna be out for seven hours, let's say, on a given day. So why not bring food with you, bring snacks, bring lunch, bring something so that you don't end up starving in the middle of a you know, Burger King and a Taco Bell and you don't know what to do with yourself. Right, so that's another situation solution. So basically, you're just trying to figure out how can I stay in my day feeling calm, looking out for myself, eating what I'm truly in the mood for, in an amount that'll make me happy, and eating it when you want, instead of just eating it when you feel, you know, that the thought has come to you and you act on the impulse. So maybe it would be great for you to think about situation solutions for things you have coming up and then I'm going to be back to you in the next video where I'm going to talk about the fifth type of situation solution. So I will see you then.